What you guys got another video here for you. When is a computer too old? Now this debate will run and run because a lot of people are still using very old computers today in 2022. Now you get a lot of people that will say just install Linux and that PC will run perfectly fine. But that is not always the case. You know, and there's many other things to consider when you're using old computers. So I'm going to be going through some of the things that you can look at and decide whether your computer is too old. So this is a bit of a free talking video and uh, I'll give you some of my reasoning to behind saying that uh, your computer is too old. So signs that your computer is getting too old is that you can't run any latest Windows updates anymore. It's not letting you update because it's become end of life. That is a sign that your computer is pretty old. You can't install the latest operating system on that uh, computer because uh, you know it's not on the compatibility list, i.e. Windows 11. Yes, we know Windows 11 will run on a lot of old systems, but can it do the modern day tasks that you're asking it to do? That's another thing you've got to take into account. Applications take a long time to load. This is another problem that I see with old PCs. They will open up an application and it will take forever to open up. And sometimes that computer won't even allow you to run the very latest applications because the hardware is too old. And that is a sign that your computer is getting too old. And it becomes then a security risk. So the computer cannot handle multitasking. So basically, you're trying to alt tab between the program and your desktop, which you can do with modern day computers, or maybe you just want to use the alt tab to uh, go from one thing to another. You really can't do that with older systems. And basically having more than one thing open at a time will generally grind these old computers to a halt. So you're restricted to doing certain things on that computer. And if any of these sound familiar, then your computer is getting too old. Start up and shutdowns become super slow. And another solution that people always seem to come up with is just add an SSD. By adding an SSD, you will theoretically speed up boot up times, but it's a bit of a placebo really because the computer components in that computer are still very old. You still got the same crappy old processor and the RAM is exactly the same, and the data transfer rate on that computer, the data bus on that computer, is exactly the same as it was before. It's still going to be very slow. And this is the big problem with Linux users when they say, just install Linux on that old system, it will run super fast. But what they're not taking into account is that you've got your SSD installed, and then you install some sort of Linux distro on there, but your processor is still the same, your RAM is still the same, and your data bus data transfer rate is still going to be very, very slow for that computer. Yes, it might be a bit more lightweight than Windows, but it still has the same problems and the same hardware. So you're not really going to solve any of those problems. If it couldn't render a 4K video before, it's certainly not going to render a 4K video now you've installed Linux or any other operating system. And that says the same thing for anything else that you was trying to do. It's not going to be able to handle those particular tasks because it's exactly the same computer and maybe you've already upgraded that computer as far as you can and it's still slow well that tells me that it's time to uh, upgrade to buy a new pc some people spend an absolute fortune trying to keep old computers going because they paid quite a lot of money for it you know eight years ago or ten years ago and they still believe it's worth that much money when it really isn't and they'll go and spend an absolute fortune on upgrading it as high as they can to try and get as much performance out of it as possible when they could use that money to build a cheaper PC, which will probably be outperforming that old PC anyway because of the uh, advancements in technology. So how old is too old for a computer? Well, that's going to come down to what you're actually trying to do with that computer. Sometimes people are just quite happy to surf the web and they want to open up a few emails, and that's probably where those old systems are going to be. They're not going to be capable of doing anything too taxing, like playing AAA listed games, or maybe editing out 4K content, or streaming 4K content. It just can't handle that sort of stuff. And this is the problem with a lot of these old systems. Now, we've already heard about 
installing Linux on an old system can give it a new lease of life. But that can be a bit of a placebo because if your PC couldn't play, you know, uh, games on that system when it was running Windows, it's certainly not going to be able to do that when you run Linux. The same thing with editing 4K content. If you couldn't edit a 4K content on that system when it was running Windows, it's certainly not going to make a difference when you install Linux. And these are the things that people seem to sort of gloss over. They don't seem to tell you this. But what is installing Linux going to do for you? Well, if you're a light user, i.e. you just want to get your emails up and you just want to surf the web and do a few things like that, and you're now on the end of life for Windows, then yeah, you can install Linux and that will give your system a new lease of life. In fact, you'll be able to receive updates and you'll be able to use software which is fully updated and it will make your system safer and more secure. But when it comes to other things, like I've already mentioned, then it's not going to change anything. It's still a very old system and it's going to have its limitations, whether you're running Linux or whether you're running Windows. And remember, just installing an SSD does give you the feel that that PC is running a lot quicker. But at the end of the day, it's not a miracle worker. Now, I know there's a lot of people that have nostalgia for old hardware, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with using old hardware or having it lying around if you're into that sort of thing. But be realistic. And obviously, there is no comparison between a 12-year-old uh, PC or a 10-year-old PC compared to a modern-day system. There just is no comparison. And a modern-day system is going to way outperform a really old system. It's just a fact. Now, I guess the important part is, is if you're using an old system and you're happy with it, uh, whether it be Windows or Linux on there, and you're getting all of your work done on it, and you can use that computer in 2022, uh, then by all means, continue to use it. If you're happy to use it, then that's your choice. You know, if you want to use Windows XP still in 2022 and run the risk, that's entirely your choice. And remember, that is why we have different hardware like i3s, i5s, i7s, i9s, because everyone needs different specs for their PC to do different tasks. If you're rendering videos all day, every day, you're going to need a super fast PC. You're not going to be recommending a 10 or 12 year old PC to do that type of work because it's just going to take you forever to get anything done. And having one of those old processors like a Celeron or one of those dual, dual core duos to do modern day computer tasks, it just don't bear thinking about. It will take forever. So for me, it just wouldn't work out. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people that are like that that need a quite a powerful PC. Now, I've got a video rendering going on. I'm rendering videos out and I've got Photoshop open at the same time. You're not going to be able to do that on old systems. And I have to do that. I've got multi monitors open where I'm doing different things at any one time. And you just can't do that with a really old system. So it's stupid to think that everyone can use old computers in 2022. Now, it's not to say that you can't use an old computer. If you just want a bit of gaming, then you can buy an older system, stick a graphics card in it, and away you go. And you get some reasonable frame rates, and you'll be able to play your games on them. Uh, but again, it comes down to what you're actually trying to do with that old system. Now, if we're talking really old systems, then there is a point where you have to sort of say enough's enough. You know, like people are complaining that they got a 10 and 12 year old computer and they want to be allowed to install Windows 11 on it. And it's probably got like two gigs of RAM or one gig of RAM in it. I mean, come on, that's just stupid. So is your system really old? Are you still managing to get by and use it in 2022? Uh, let me know in the comments section below how old your computer is and whether it actually functions OK and whether you get by doing certain things on it. Because I'm pretty sure that as soon as you use a brand new computer, you're going to be blown away by the amount of performance you've got and what you can actually achieve on it and how fast it renders videos out and does certain things. And you'll wonder why you never upgraded uh, sooner. So that's just my opinion on it. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is if you are looking to buy an older computer to do a bit of gaming or just use it as a computer, then be careful because some of these old computers, like some of these old Dell Optiplexes, uh, the prices are really steep. 
and you'll be surprised that you can actually build yourself uh, a PC for the same sort of money and have way more power. So just don't go uh, spending far too much on these old systems because they're just not worth it. There is a place for old computers, like I've said and mentioned in this video. So don't skip the video, listen to what I say, and then you'll get all your answers for my opinions on old hardware. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, a special shout out to Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Bill's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for your continued support. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.